right, so with this next example, uh, we're going to formally look at the elimination method, um, also called the addition method, but we've seen it in action and it's, it's fairly easy to use. Um, so if we look at this example, we notice that one of our variables are the exact same, they only differ in sign. So once we get it to that point, then all we really have to do is add the two equations and let's see what happens. So if we add them, these are going to cancel. And then it'll give us um, 8x equals 16 divided by 8 and x equals 2. So then if x is 2, I'll choose the second equation. That means we'll have 10 minus 2y equals 12. Subtract 10, negative 2y equals 2. So then y equals negative 1. So then it looks like the solution, the order pair is going to be 2 comma negative 1. So what we want to do is check and make sure this works in both. So then we'll get uh, 6 minus 2 is 4, and 10 plus 2 is 12. So this works in both. All right. So then in this example 8, we want to solve the system. We're going to use the elimination method again. We want one of the variables to be the exact same and only differ in sign. So we can multiply either row by any non-zero number. So what we're going to do is multiply the second row by 4. I'm going to say 4 times this and distribute. Okay. So then it's going to be 2x minus 4y equals a negative 7. And then if we multiply by 4, we'll get 20x plus 4y equals negative 4. So now when we add these, these cancel. And we get 22x equals negative 11, so then x equals negative 1 half. Okay. So now I'll plug this into the first equation, so we have 2 times a negative 1 half minus 4y equals a negative 7. So then that's going to be negative 1 minus 4y equals a negative 7. Negative 4y equals negative 6. So then y equals 3 by 2. Then we're saying that the order pair for this system is going to be a negative 1 half comma 3 by 2. Uh, I'm, I mean, we could solve for y. I'll just leave it as an exercise. Well, let me, let me just go ahead and check, I guess, really quickly. So what I'll do is in each one I'll solve for y and then I'll use that in my calculator. And if I go to y equals the first, I think that's a minus 4y. So then if we add, add, and divide, so at the top we're going to have 2x plus 7 divided by 4. That's that one. And then the second one, if we just subtract that, we'll have a negative 5x minus 1. Okay. I'll quit. So now if I go to variables, y variables function, if I go to y1, so now the first one, we said when x is a negative 1 half. So when x is a negative 1 half, we should get 3 halves. Okay, that checks out. And then if we take that same one half and plug it into the other equation, y2, negative one half, we should see it to three halves again. Okay, and then I'll get the plus one. So in this one, we want to solve the system using a, a, a substitution method or a linear, linearizing substitution. So what we're going to do is um, let u be 1 over x and b be 1 over y. Okay. 
So now what that means we're going to get, we're going to get 4u plus 3v equals 1, 2u minus 6v equals 3. So now we can just eliminate as, 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 what we, as what we're used to. I'm going to multiply that row 1, multiply it by 2, and distribute. So then what that will give us, we'll get 8u plus 6v equals 2, and then we'll get 2u minus 6v equals 3. Now we add these, this is going to cancel, and we'll get 10u equals 5, so u equals 1 half. Okay. So then I'll plug it into the second equation, so I'll get 1 minus 6v equals 3, negative 6v equals 2, so then v equals negative 1 by 3. Okay, so now if u is 1 half, so then if 1 half equals 1 over x, that means x equals 2. If v is a 1 over negative 3, and that's going to equal 1 over y, then y should equal negative 3. So then the ordered pair should be um, 2 comma negative 3 that will work in the original. So I'm just going to check that in the calculator as such. So then here, so if I said 4 divided by my x, which is 2, plus 3 divided by my y, which is negative 3, we should get 1, and we do. And then if we say 2 divided by our x, which is 2, minus 6 divided by our y, which is a negative 3, we should get three and we do. So that's a confirmation that we are in we did it correctly.